Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. I'm here with Baby Luca and Baby Luca is the fin sculpt sculpted by Lillian Breville Duress and painted by me. Um, oh wait, <laughs> he was also poured and molded um, by Clartella Dolls. So he is actually a Lillian Breville um, doll. Um, as you guys can see, he's definitely a full body silicone baby, and I'm gonna get him dressed. Now, guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, please make sure you follow me on Instagram. Make sure that you, um, make sure you're following me on all my platforms if you like to see my babies. I try to post mostly on um, Instagram a lot um i do post you know on facebook as well um i do have a um blog that's called miss rindy smith babies.com and that is all the different ways that you can follow my work and my journey as a collector and as a reborn and silicone painter um and of course subscribing to this channel I, um, for those of you that may be new to following my channel, um, I started out as strictly a collector. I've never been to any art school or taken any art classes <laughs> and I'm going to get him, like I said, I'm going to get him dressed. Um, for me, I've just always had a love for dolls. Um, for the longest time as a kid, I wanted to, um, I wanted to have a realistic doll. And so it was always hard to find that. In fact, I never could really find it when I was younger. Um, I did collect Baby Alives. Um, they got old pretty fast though. Um. And, but I collect every kind of doll you can think of. Strawberry Shortcake, My my Little Pony, which wasn't a doll, but um, My Little Buddy, um, who else? I had Raggedy Ann's, Cabbage, Pat Cabbage Patches, all that great stuff. I, I had all of them, okay? So, but for me, I always wanted to, you know, find a doll that was um, realistic. Now, I don't know who was the maker of this one doll that I had. It was super realistic, but she was asleep. And I was kind of, I loved her the most. And I used to always make my bed up and lay her on my bed. She was always, like, displayed. But when I knew my mom was going to have company or something or family or, you know, someone was coming over, I would always flip her over on her tummy because I was, I didn't like the comments where people would say she looked dead because, you know, I guess because she was sleeping and they were like, her eyes don't open and I, you know, and it was just like, no, her eyes didn't open. And back then, most dolls, the eyes would, you know how if you hold them up, the eyes open, you lay them down, the eyes closed. Well, she wasn't like that. And she was a little bit more pricey doll. I don't know where my grandmother got her from. But I loved her so much. But people always made those type of comments about her. And so I would kind of try to hide her sometimes <laughs> from people. Um, so when I found these dolls, of course, I was you know just blown away and originally I couldn't afford the ones that I really really loved so it's kind of hard trying to <laughs> trying to get him dressed without like totally blocking the light or blocking the view but um yeah so I couldn't really afford the ones that I really really love and then eventually I was able to do a layaway with an artist that i fall in love with work and stuff but that ended up going bad um 
in the end and it, it was really heartbreaking but you know it didn't stop me from collecting i used to collect from a lot of different artists in fact at one point i counted how many artists i had collected from um and how many dolls but i haven't i lost track i know when i the last time i counted which was years ago i had collected over from over 40 artists different artists and I had collected over a hundred babies. Um, I know I'm well over <laughs> that now. And you know, not that it matters a whole lot, how many, I'm just saying that because of, I'm just telling you my experiences. I've been all across the board with good experiences, um, bad experiences, um, Um, no emotion experiences um, I've been God experiences so um, but the, the reason why I began to try to paint was because I had a couple situations where um, I just I felt like I didn't get treated fairly in a situation and um, I was just tired of, you know, <laughs> trying to get customs. And I also, um, they had gotten really expensive for me because, you know, I'm like, you guys know I'm a mom and, um, on top of you know my collecting and um, I pretty much do everything by myself you know as a single mom so it was it got a little too pricey and I I had start having like babe like my kids start getting to the point where they were having graduations and you know how it go you go through all those different phases and stuff and it was just I had to pause on spending, but I was so addicted to um, these babies till I just couldn't just not collect. So um, that really got me um, where I really, really wanted to um, see if I could paint. And of course I tried and it, it it didn't work out so great and then I gave up <laughs> and then I started try it back again like maybe six months and then maybe a year later and then I just after a while I just kept doing it and trying and keep going and going and going that was with reborns I definitely didn't think I would ever touch silicone so anyway that is my journey um so I always feel like I'm more of a collector than anything and I really paint mainly for myself. So a lot of you guys may think that um, I'm becoming a full-time artist, but I'm really not. I really paint for myself. So what's happening now with me in my collection and my journey is that I have tried uh, silicone um, now and I find that I like it. It does make it a little bit more well, a lot more affordable to me um, doesn't mean I won't still collect babies that from other artists but um, this is where I'm at with it and so um, but mainly I paint for myself so I'll get these kits and I have all these kits and I'll paint for myself but then I realize that okay for whatever reason i'm not connecting with this one so i'm gonna put this one up for sale or yeah i really didn't want that one once i get the kid in person i might not like something about it the position of the legs the position of the arms the hands it could be anything or sometimes i love it but i want something else instead because i don't i only have so much space in here and so i put the babies up for sale so for a lot of people, um, I just want to kind of explain that I'm not a full-time artist. Um, I'd say I work full-time as 
a painter now because that's how my work schedule seems to feel because I'm working my full-time job in this and so it's like I never really take time off so I feel like I'm I'm doing it full-time now but as far as just being a full-time artist full-blown artist that's like you know making it a career I haven't transitioned to that level um it's still me just wanting to collect for me so um you know guys please be patient with me if you are trying to one day have one of the babies that I painted and which I am so humbly grateful and thankful that people actually do enjoy my work um but try to have a little bit of understanding that this is not my full-time job and that you know I like I said I, I am a full-time mom and um of course with the pandemic and everything going on um it's had its benefits but it also had its drawbacks as well um you know what I want to see I want to see um I want to see major in the same frame with him just just to see and there's a reason why I want to see them together hang on let me see what it looks like I know what it looks like to me in person well, let me see okay there we go I just wanted to see them together because I know a lot of people um see that it used to be a time where cell phones didn't look as nice as reborns painted so i wanted to see <laughs> i wanted to see my work together with the reborns and the cell phone and i'm good <laughs> um so i'm weird so as you can see i just totally jumped off the subject of what i was talking about um but yeah i so yeah that's that's where i'm at guys and i think i'm leaning more towards going back to my um more of my reborns i really there's a lot i want to explore and experience experiment with with the reborn so i'm really going to be focusing a lot on my reborn babies which mean i'll probably have an overflow of babies that will come available as i go through the painting and everything um but i have to prioritize right now as i've been saying for months and take care of my custom babies which i am like almost there um down to the last two um rooting for one and painting for the other and then i will be done because i don't have to paint the last one um but yeah definitely um i'm definitely looking forward to working with my reborns again um not that i won't paint silicone um because <laughs> I'm definitely going to be painting so long. Um, but I just, I you know, Reborns will always have their place. And that's another video for another day. Maybe when I sit down to give him a bottle, that'll be a chat that we can have. Um, because that's always a question like, which one do you like the most? And it's like, I always gravitate to saying, I love silicones more than Reborns. And I think I there's a I love the feel of them, and I I really love the silicone I do, but I think that <laughs> I think that it's a uh, um, there's there's seasons like in one moment I'm so in love with my reborns, the next minute I'm so in love with my silicone babies. I think I love them both equally, only because they both have different um, values. Um, I think for me, the Reborns, just being able to pose them and just dress them freely and take tons of photos of them is just like endless possibilities and the different faces and the accessibility to Reborns is so far greater than trying to find that needle in the haystack silicone baby that is definitely going to be more expensive and they're not going to ever pose like a Reborn. Um, but they there are some that pose much nicer than others. Um, but a reborn will never match that feeling of that silicone. So it's like, you know, 
the pros and the cons of them both but anyway guys let me know in the comment section below are you more of a silicone baby lover or a reborn lover and also guys i again want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel it is always greatly appreciated when you give this video a thumbs up um even the ones that share my videos often um i do see it it doesn't go unseen lachelle is definitely known for uh sharing my videos on her page i definitely appreciate you and some others of course um i really appreciate you guys and again like i said i appreciate you guys supporting my channel thanks guys again and i'll see you in the next video